Hello everybody, I'm Beetwolf and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. Uh, we are back here in the painted world of Ariandel, standing before Sister Freed and her father Ariandel. Or Father Ariandel. I guess, you know, I tried to say both things in the same point right there. <laughs> but either way, no, moving forward. Uh, we are back in here and I am ready to go into this boss fight again, though I might summon Slave Knight Gale. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think it will be awesome. I think it will be freaking cool. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. He's going to spawn in a separate location. Where the hell is he going to spawn? Hopefully just outside this door so we can come in with me. Unless he's already going to be in there messing them up. I don't know. We are getting into things quite quickly as well here. I've noticed not much of an intro this time. but <laughs> Regardless, either way, that's that's nice. That's just how I like it sometimes, you know? So... Starting it off fast, nice and quick. Now let's get into this boss fight. Let's roll. Though, I must say, I'm a little concerned about Gale's whereabouts right now. Regardless, let's roll. Let's let's rock it. Let's get it. Did I just hear it? No. I thought I heard footsteps there, but I guess not. Come on then, bish. Let's do it. Whoops. Whoops. May not be the wisest thing going right from uh, Spelunky 2 all the way to Dark Souls 3. Games feel really different, I will say that. And I do find that to be a valid excuse. <laughs> Gotta get comfortable on this controller again, goddamn. Woof, woof. Wow. Settling myself here again. Okay. <laughs> Back into it. All right, let's go, let's go. Just had to, uh, you know, settle myself there for a moment. That was uh, quite a big surprise to get killed off that quickly, I must say. So, um, yeah. Forgive me for an unusual start and style of commentary composing myself here, but... I'm sure it will pay dividends. We'll, uh, this second attempt will be much better. It was a, quite a big surprise, I must say, dying that quick, considering we, we managed to kill her on our first attempt last time, but ended up dying when we, uh, you know, when the father ended up coming into the mix. All right, let's go. Much better this time. Let's go, people. I know you believe in me. Let's do it. Okay, this is this is very kind of different to what I remember it was in the first attempt. <laughs> Where? Oh my god. I cannot even believe we've not hit her yet. That's the crazy thing to me. I know it kind of looks like the scythe winds up for a little bit, but her swing is literally quicker than mine. There we go. Where the heck is Gale at, though? Seriously. Gale, where are you, man? I need your help. Man, we got, like, one hitting off of that whole buff. This is going to be a hard fight. I can uh, I can tell. I wonder what happens if we hit this guy now. Oh, she ain't letting that happen. I'm thinking we're going to be able to take a little bit of... Oh, my God, rip. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to be able to take a little bit of advantage here. Is this damage going to follow over into the actual fight? If it does, then that's falling. I kind of want to see what happens with his HP there now, so let's uh, let's continue fighting her and see where his HP is when we end up killing her. How is she so quick in compared to compared to us right now? I, I do remember seeing in the comments, uh, despite having not replied yet, because I'm never the quickest at replying to my comments. Um, I will get to them all eventually, as you guys know. I guess I don't really need to say that now because you guys. Already understand that, but um, as I was saying, I did see a comment from one of you guys saying that you really hated this fight. Uh, 
I'm just wondering why, but I'm feeling it may be down to the, the difficulty. I think this one's going to be quite a hard one, to be honest. Where the hell's Gale, though? Or maybe it's because of that. Invisible, then suddenly visible, and, and so on. Oh my god. Wait, where though? Oh my god. Like, I'm, I'm literally thinking about switching weapon because it's so slow compared to what she's got right now. Oh, Gale? Oh no, it's her again. I thought, uh, I thought Gale was swooping in behind us there for some action. That was bait right there. Okay, at least that gives us a little bit of a chance to get in there. That's nice. Nice couple of hits for us. We're, we are down to one Estus already, though, which sucks. Right, one more hit. Please don't take damage before this hit. Got her. Right, Gale, come on. Where are you? Help. <laughs> Where is it? I will watch this cutscene again. Normally I'll skip it uh, for the sake of the video after seeing it once or twice during recording. But uh, it was actually so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go again. And you can literally feel the guy's pain. Man, that creature and that cutscene are as crazy as seeing it for the first time again. That was mad. It's so crazy. Okay, Cleric Beast, calm down. I, I can hear you. Gale, come on. Go get her, buddy. Go mess that hole up. Go get her. Yes. Oh, that damage was very, uh, how do I say, bad. Rough. Okay, eyes in the back of someone's dome piece, I guess. Come back up, girl. Go get a Gale. Suck that drink. That's right, boy. Suck it. Oh, no. Okay, you'll help me. Okay, you'll help. We're putting some nice damage on him now. Oh, buddy. And if only I had some Estus, we could win this. What is going on up there? Why is there a flying UFO piece of light and whatnot? Yo, did we do it? What's going on? Did we... <laughs> no, 
don't know what's happening, we're all dead at the same time. <laughs> what in the world just happened, man? The game literally looks like it was thinking what to do right there. <laughs> that was so cool though. That that foursome right there, that 2v2. That is too good to pass up on. That that is so fun. It's like when you when you summon someone into one stand and smo, right? It's it's like such a cool um dynamic. There's such an awesome dynamic to it. It's it's so crazy good. Oh my god. Let, let's give that a go again. That was freaking fun. That was fun as hell. For sure. Let's go. Gale was doing some solid work there as well, it looked like. Seems like it's easier to control the father as well and fight him. He seems a little bit easier to fight. He's not as quick. He's a bit more cumbersome. Easier to read. Whereas she, the daughter, is fast as hell. There you go. Ooh! I should have delayed that. No, girl, no, please don't. We've had such a good start here, baby. Oh, god damn it. Return from for God's sake, camest, yo. For that is thy place of Ooh, swings it quick, for sure. Damn, we had such a good start there as well. That was... Should have, I should have been able to complete the whole fight on that go. That was our third attempt, and I, I feel like that was well, very, very, very doable. Come on, Gay, let's bring you in again, buddy. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it again. I bet it's possible. I am sure it is. Oh, I saw her like... Ah! I was going off sound there and I was so... I, I was a half... A, a tenth of a second later I would have rolled and got out of the way. For God's sake, she's beating me up again. I just don't like that she disappears so much, man. It's like... It was hard. It's hard to, you know, get the get 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 your hits in there, you know. Oh, I rolled back into it because of the directional lock on. It inverted my direction. Sounds like an excuse, but it is, you know, a genuine thing. Yo, okay, I thought I saw her there, man. I, I entered the matrix momentarily in my own mind there, and was able to read where she went. Oh. oh my god. That attack, man. That freaking attack. If you couldn't do that, it would be piss easy. No, God, I, I, I actually need to get better at doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of getting attacked, you know, damaged by that now. 
Oh my god, I was just quicker for once there. No way. Man, the constant invisibility is so sleeper. Oh my god. There was no way I was gonna ever stop rolling there after that, after I saw the wind up. Girl. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, Gail, we'll give it one more go. I've got no heals again. Oh my days. You, you deal with the sister, I'll take the dad. Not the sister, the fucking... Yeah, well, sister as well. But you get the point. I need to be careful. I need to remember I've not got any heals left. Go get him, Gale. What are you doing? I, I do not want to go in there. Oops. dangerous than I thought, this guy. Man, if, if I came into this stage of the fight with like four restless left, I'd be golden. Oh, he's getting bodied right there. Oh my god. Right, you need to let go of him, that's for damn sure. No, he's hunting me. He's hunting me though. Right, I've drawn aggro now, Gale. Go get her. Ooh, get this frost off me. Yeah, run from it. Oh shit, he's dead. I didn't get enough damage in during the period where. Oh my god, I'm so dead. <laughs> hey, it's a fun fight though. I think it's pretty fun to be honest. We'll get there. We'll get there soon enough. But right now, though, um, before I forget, uh, we've got to go back to something that was mentioned a couple of episodes ago, and I think now would be a good time to do it, actually, just so this episode doesn't turn into a whole, you know, that fight. Um, so to keep things fresh for you guys viewing, I will just go ahead to... Uh, I like what this message was hinting at, by the way. Um, I will go ahead and just leave the DLC for a moment. And... We will go back to Firelink and place that, that final skull, right? That's what we've got to do. We've got to place our final skull. On top of the throne, right? That's what uh, I have to do here, I believe. Holy King Lotharic, last hope of his line. Okay, so it's not, because we've not done that. Oh, yeah, it is, of course. Nice. Boom. And that's all of them, right? I'm pretty sure we've done that. We've killed all these previous lords. Is the game wrapping up here? She's looking up to us. Killed all these previous chosen undead. The five lords sit their five thrones. All thanks to thee, most worthy of lords. Ashen one. With the lords as thy witness, bend thy knee before the bonfire's coiled sword, and let the lords' embers acknowledge thee as their true heir, a true lord, fit to link the fire.
damn you. When I say all the lords. It's, it's obviously not all the previous chosen undead, but it's five key lords from the past who did link the fire. Crazy, man. It's such a cool, cool story and whatnot. I'm pretty sure that's not a coiled sword, unless things have changed over time, but it was a hot poker originally, right? A coiled hot poker. Hmm. I mean, I guess it kind of is, a, like, partially a sword as well, anyway. Yeah, interesting, man. It is such cool stuff. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. I feel like I've made a crazy mistake, though, because I'm not going to be able to get back to the DLC now, though, right? Oh, God. Oh, man. I don't know what to say about that, but there's kind of nothing we can do about it now, right? Hopefully we can, but let's see what happens here. Moving on. Neil. Noble Lords of Cinder. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fires. Damn. To the true heir. Let him grant death to the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Yo! Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, man. Oh my god, the feels are getting a little bit. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. I love the mention there of Lodron and the deliverers of the first flame. Freaking awesome, man. Holy shit, so cool. I love that animation as well. Now look at all this. Look at what's happened. Silence. I don't want to light that just yet. Is there... Oh my god. Do we... Shall we? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, look at this. And that. And 
man, so cool. Proceed to the first flame. We're in the kiln. We're in the kiln, boys. No. I think we need... To light this one first. And... The flameless shrine in the kiln of the first flame. So freaking cool. Yeah, I think... I think we need to go back to the Ariandel Chapel here, that's for sure. Oh man, I'm feeling kind of... Uh... <laughs> Look, you guys know my feelings. It's by no means my favourite Souls game, right? But now that it's actually... We appear to be approaching closer to the end. And things are starting to wrap up a little bit in the story. I am actually getting hit by the, the emotion a little bit. The feels, because... Look, these games mean so much to me, right? Seriously. So, so much. And although I criticise and I call, um, you know, parts of them sometimes, particularly in Dark Souls 3 and bits of Dark Souls 2, they still mean a lot to me as a collective. The soul's image and what they're all about, right? What the souls are. So despite them not being the best games, in my opinion, both Dark Souls 2 and 3, you know, they're still deeply emotionally attached to me in a way. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not going back on what I was saying. There is plenty of better games than Dark Souls 3, in my opinion. But I've still really enjoyed, and I'm saying this now because I don't know when the game's going to wrap up and end. Um, I've still really enjoyed the experience of recording this playthrough and going through it all with you guys so damn much. Not just because, I mean, for numerous reasons really, one of them being it's a great experience to play through with it, with you guys, you know, always speaking you, with you guys in the comments and recording it for the past few years, you know, since it came out because, we've, let's be honest, we've not completed it in nearly as quick succession as we would have thought. But because this is my first ever playthrough of Dark Souls 3 still, and it still will always be special for that. It's not the best, but it's certainly been a memorable experience that will be eternally, you know, tied to me. It's still been fun and enjoyable for sure. And I am just saying this while staring out into the beautiful snowy vista of Ariandel there. And I feel like uh, that was a few words that I needed to say, just a couple of points that I needed to to have and say and make there just before we, we do eventually end up wrapping up. But yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from there. And trust trust me, I know these games mean more to me than you, than you could imagine for multiple reasons, multiple reasons. So with that said... You know, I've said my, my piece there. I'm trying to give it a good farewell, even though we're not at the end yet. But I'm just doing it so I don't miss my chance. And I'm sure I'll say a little bit about it when we eventually do wrap up the game. But uh, I feel like that needed to be said now. So I could get it in there as well, just as like a, a precursor to the wrapping up. Just to make sure that it has been said in this series. So, hey, there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that and you, you feel that coming from my heart. Or soul, for lack of a better, you know, example. That's that's how I feel, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. Such legendary games, what a what a franchise it is. Seriously, the uh, the best, the best of all time, in my opinion. Love it, love it so damn much. From Demon Souls through them all, to to Dark Souls three here. Awesome. Awesome. Alrighty. And with that said, whew, back into the room. Alrighty, folks. With that said, I think I will now give this boss another go before we wrap up this, this episode. Alrighty, folks. Let's do it. Let's go. Concentration time. 
<laughs> Sister Freed. I wonder how much blocking we can actually do here with her. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Maybe I should have... I should have used my shield more during this playthrough, maybe. Oh. Just a fraction too early. Okay, so she's back this way. There you go. Oh, man, I knew she was there as well, and I still messed it up. Oh, my God, rip. Okay, come on, yo. Rinse and repeat, is it? Seriously? Okay, that would have been dangerous. Oh. Sora, we saw you, sister. Oh, I tried to get the parry on there. Maybe that was a little too aggro of me. Oh, that's an always hit. It's good to know that, though, and see and test things like that at the same time. Please, no. Not right now. Not right now. We've come too far. Thank you. Okay. Doing well in this one. We're doing really well. It seems like the, uh, the talk that we had there, the emotional chat, or emotional driven chat, has cleared my... Uh, head a little bit into concentration territory. Hit it. Ouch. Oh, Gale's doing okay, man, seriously. Special attack here. Yes! Look at that. Oh, look at that. Man, you've got to love that animation. Hell yeah, baby. What a fight that was. That was freaking baller. It's okay now, Gale. You can rest. What? Yo, what in the world is going on here? I did not expect this. Absolutely crazy, yo. Please tell me he's still here, though. Please tell me he's still here. Good. Where is she? Where's she at? Well, he can still see her. He's, he's aware of her position in which he's good. Oh, no! What did she just do to him? Oh my god. Good. Get some hits in there, Gale. Don't die yet, dude. I need you. I need you desperately still. Oh, he just beat her ass good. Man, how come I can't hit shit here?
I, I am literally struggling to hit this goal. Keep at it, Gale. No. Did she just kill him? Shit. We're in trouble now, folks. We are in trouble. Okay, baby. No. Oh. Where the Oh my god, this girl! No, how close did we get this fight? It's crazy. This fight is absolutely crazy. Holy crap. I will say this about Dark Souls 3, um, and in fact this fight. I really like what they've done with this fight as a whole concept, but I feel like the whole boss, multiple stages thing in this game, they should have done less of them, and they should have gone for quality over quantity in my opinion. This one is a quality example of it, in my opinion. However, there is other boss fights in the game where I think that it was kind of needless and they, they could have made the fight better just on a one-stage thing uh, and still kept a difficult you know, level that they'd wanted, but not having multiple stages to it. Like, I feel like it's a, it's a bit overused in this game. However, this is one of the fights where I think it is good. I like it in this one for sure, just to make that clear. But um, yeah, that's that anyway. Well, that was our final attempt for this episode, folks. It's been a great time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been Beowulf. This has been a special episode. I got to say, it's been a lot of fun. Man, we're getting closer to the end of the game. I sometimes, I mean, I, I think I do an okay job sometime of narrating just how powerful the feeling is about these games. But sometimes the the lack of words or inability to enunciate it really get, gets the point across better than others and. Wow, were the emotions kind of building in me a bit earlier. Seriously. I love these games, man. I love them. This has been a special episode. And uh, I'm sure it will be as well when we reach the very end. But uh, until then, we'll keep grinding this fight out and hope that we can get the win. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been Matt, otherwise known as Beta Wolf. Hope you've enjoyed. Leave that like if you feel like it. If not, no hard feelings. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. You know, let's give you guys a wave here as well. It's been a good one. Goodbye.